Hello, I'm Eric Sherwinski. I'm culinary director here at Schreiber Foods. Uh, we're a large cheese manufacturer in the state of Wisconsin, and this is our culinary center. Um, we moved into our building about four years ago. I have a team of one other chef. Uh, we do take care of all of food service, retail, global customer interactions for Schreiber Foods as far as the culinary side. Um, we designed the kitchen with customers in mind. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we can move equipment in and out because we work on specific types of equipment for who that customer would be. Our customers are the largest QSRs, family casual restaurants. We do work through distribution chains um, on hotels and other street business. Um, we do follow our customers on the global scale as well, those larger QSR chains. Um, if there's anything needed again as far as product applications, um, our palette, designing products for functionality or for flavor, our team generally is involved with that. Um, as we go through the kitchen, you can see we have a lot of commercial style of equipment. We also do a lot of work with residential style equipment as far as like ovens and cooktops. Um, we do want to set it up sometimes to where we can simulate what a cook's line would be in these restaurants so we can execute what we're trying to do for that day. Um, there's not really a customer in the landscape right now that we're, we don't, haven't had contact with. So when I'm talking to large QSRs, the largest burger chains out there, I mean, that is our cheese on that product. And we are the ones that are helping talk to those chefs and design whatever's gonna be on their menus next. You want to cut from there? And go? We can edit somehow. Okay? Yeah. Again, back to the space, we wanted to make it so that one of the things that we were looking for when designing the space is, is to have the customer in mind. So it's a very large area that we can accommodate up to 40 people um, in a kitchen environment to do presentation work, um, to have teams of chefs come in and do product development work. Um, we wanted to again make sure that things are very nimble and easy to move around so that we can simulate any type of cooking environment that we are looking for. There's just a lot of ways that we can angle the kitchen and yeah, um, just. Another addition to our kitchen, we do have our little chef's mind area, if you will. So this is where we do a lot of our iterations for customer work, product development. We host a lot of customers here as far as even small presentations. Um, in the manufacturing side, it is working with other suppliers for product development. So we would like to bring in those other chefs and other categories for the restaurants. We're a dairy supplier, you know, the, the meat companies, the bakeries and things like that. So we'll actually have a huddle area here that we can get our game plan together. Um, and a lot of our other documentation and things happen in this area here. So right off of the main kitchen, we also have our little side kitchen here. This would be our culinary theater, if you will. So it's a space where we can, again, plug and play and set up a cook's line to simulate any type of product demonstration that needs to be done. But it gives us an opportunity to bring the customer into a more intimate setting and we can have a, a really straightforward business meeting at that point. But again, we can move any type of equipment in here to simulate any type of cooking experience that would be had at any restaurant. And next to that small production kitchen, we have our residential kitchen. Um, our R&D partners do utilize this space quite a bit, but this is where we have a lot of our collaboration. Um, again, I had mentioned that we have more of what you would have in a residential setting as far as powerful, you know, on the ovens and the cooktops, um, but it gives that space. And when we're talking with retail customers, or other customers that are really focused on consumers at home, this kind of gives that setting to where we can simulate that idea. This is another area where we do a lot of our work. It's our sensory type of setup um, where we can actually bring in our employees or consumers off of the street and do sensory work. We do have little booths here set up um, where we would make either just tasting finished product or assembling sandwiches and such for consumers, we can get direct feedback in the sensory booths here. Um, they are equipped with lighting and 
sound um, distortion so that you're only focused on the ingredients that you're trying to taste. But 